What up, green kitties? Hi, guys. Meow, meow. Happy Sunday. Mimir said, happy um, Sunday, y'all. Hi, you guys. How are you guys doing today? Well, tonight is late as hell, and I've been trying to do videos, and I've been so busy and tired, but I wanted to kind of give some updates to you guys. Um, first of all, make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave me some comments. Holla at your girl, okay? Um, today is Sunday. It's late. Baby, please turn that down a little bit. Today is Sunday. Um, I'm ready for the week, okay? And I just want to tell you guys how my weekend went, what's going on, how, you know, y'all yeah, been seeing like little snippets, but I haven't did no real full video. Yes, I'm still in Los Angeles. Um, like I said, I'm going to be out here for like a month or whatever. And um, I'm still here going from different rooms, different rooms, but I'll be moving, not moving in, but I'll be, um done with rooms very soon because i'm gonna update you guys on the situation you guys seen a little bit of it but y'all don't know the whole throttle so let's talk first of all i had a pretty good weekend um the days are getting better with my grandfather not being here the days are getting better they're not as bad as they were um, they're still hard. I need everybody to go to their room and go go get in the bed now. That's what I need. Um, yeah, so it's getting a little bit better. Yesterday, which was Saturday, um, my grandma had some ladies come, cleaning ladies, to finish my grandfather's room. And um, we went through all his drawers. And mind you, he's been in this house uh, for 38 years. Well, I'm 30 four or five so he's been in the house 36 years so we had to and he was like a pat rack a rat pack or whatever however you say it and so um but we got a lot of things out i got his union ring um his old social security cards his texas driver license you know just things like that he has so many cameras and just so many things you know i've seen old pictures of my children of myself you know so it was kind of like going through memory lane um, that was a little difficult because the girls were, were cleaning it up, you know, and so that was something new, you know, and that was something that was a little difficult, but we got through that, um, and getting his things, my son, my sons and my daughter was able to, you know, get some piece of him, piece of his jewelry, piece of his things, you know, so that was cool um yesterday so anywho let's get to the real situation so as you guys know i've been saying that my grandparents had left me some property or whatever the case may be and so which is two properties uh, they're around a corner from each other one my grandmother has lived in that's the one that i grew up in all my life okay that's my childhood home that's the one my grandma's in i showed you guys a little bit of it and then the other one is around the corner and that is the house that my mother was living in for 20 plus years okay and that was that so my grandfather loving his people the way he does loving me loving all his children all his grandchildren he allowed my mother to live there 20 plus years ago and only paying a certain amount of rent okay he did this because he loved her not because she needed it my mother is a nurse my stepfather was a truck driver they did not need help but my grandfather just was just a loving man so when i tell you guys that this death was really hard for me it really was because it was a good man that is no longer here it's just not he wasn't a drunk he wasn't a bad person it was a real good grandfather a real good dad a real good grandfather you know what i'm saying so anyway so after his passing my grandmother wanted to go to the uh, the normal rent because where the house is located is a prime time neighborhood okay and so yeah. she didn't go crazy she just added an extra thousand to the rent 
My mother was going back and forth, whatever. So the day that she was supposed to pay the rent is the day she gave the key and moved out. When she moved out, she moved out with shit in the house, okay? Very evil. Didn't give a 30-day notice. Didn't even have the nerve to have a, a maid come clean the service. Just nothing, right? My grandmother is 78 years old. She just lost her husband. It hasn't even been 90 days. Just evil as fuck, okay? But cool. Ain't nobody tripping. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's slipping or tripping about that. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to deal with karma. Everybody got to, you know, you reap what you sow. That's just period. So, um, so I have my best friend, you guys know. And I give him the job to clean everything up, whatever. I'll, that's a whole nother story. I'll tell you guys about that. That's why I'm so drained right now. I'll tell you about that story later. But anyway... He's getting the house together or whatever the case may be. And that was difficult too because, mind you, my mother been there 20 plus years. So I've never, I've seen the house empty before a long time ago. But usually for 20 some years, I'll walk in this house and it's it's a home. I, I'll see my sisters, my stepdad. And so to walk in it now, and now that I, I own it, it's mine. I turned everything on. It was bittersweet because my life is moving at a very fast pace everything that i knew is is moving there's nothing i can do about it um i got no forewarning about any of this and so i'm just trying to understand everything that's going on and it's really hard but as my grandmother keeps telling me it's life and um it's part of life. Luckily, I've been so blessed that I never had to experience anything like this. But definitely, once the keys was dropped off to that other house, it was like our family was broken. Like, we, 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 we know what side we're on now, and we're not on the same side. And like I was telling my husband, I've never been through any breakup of my family, meaning... You know, my mother was married to my stepfather since I was four. My grandparents have been married until he ain't here no more. And she was 15 when they got together. So <clears throat> the breaking of a family has never been. Now, I may not talk to my mama here and there or whatever the case may be, but this was different. This was absolutely, we're done. Like, we're we're done. I guess we were just holding on for my grandfather, I guess. I don't, I don't really know. And so that was and that was kind of hard and then my grandmother losing her husband and then her daughter moving in the route in the way that she, her daughter moved was like you know it, it's just something else like it's just something else you guys so um, I'm just trying to get through. So I got the house getting cleaned and I think I'm an Airbnb and I'm open to Airbnb and I rent it out. I have someone coming out um tomorrow to go come look at it because the house, you guys saw it. I'm going to do a, a tour of the house. I did a little bit. It just, it, it's not that bad, y'all. It just needs to be fixed up a little bit, but it's really not that bad. So I'm thinking about fixing it up, going to the furniture company and making it Airbnb and kind of seeing how that works or put a for rent sign and if somebody bite they bite i'm not too sure of what i want to do yet but um i leave everything in god's hands and i hope my holy spirit knows what to do even when i don't and so that's what i'm doing when it comes to that also you know i like living in vegas i like being in vegas but I know that I want to take care as much as I can out here for my grandmama before I go home. You know, I want to make sure she's good. We found the camera she was looking for. So I'm happy about that. She's taking things pretty well. You know, she has her moments. And we'll all have our moments, you know, because we can't really grieve because it's so much shit that has to be taken care of, you know? Um... So, that's that, y'all. That's the update on that. So, today, I went by the house and to see the work that my best friend was doing. Now, since I got a little bit of time, I'm going to tell you about my best friend, y'all. So, 
my best friend, y'all seen him, y'all y'all know I speak about him sometimes. And so he's a guy, of course. And he wanted, okay, so the house, like I said, they left beds, dishes, all type of shit, right? And so I didn't I didn't want the maid service to do that. I wanted, you know, uh what they what they call it people that come and take away shit i wanted them type of people to come and do it and then have the maids kind of clean it up and make it pretty so but but my best friend needed some money his his son went is in jail right now or in holding cell or whatever and so you know he been in there for a couple of weeks and you know money on the books you know things like that so i decided this is a job that could be good for my friend you know what i'm saying why give it to someone else when he needs the money you know i don't like when people over overlook other people that's in your corn you know that's around you and then reach out the house no if you got somebody inside your circle that can do some shit give them the money instead right that's what i thought that's what I'm, my thinking was so you know my grandma didn't really want to do it you know she was like nah i really don't want to do this let's just hire sorry if i got any hispanic people looking but y'all know what it is just just, just hire some hispanic people and call it a day I was like, no, nah, grandma, let's get the money to the black man, the black people. They need it. That's why the black people homeless ain't got nothing going on because the Mexicans are taking everything. That was me. So she's like, okay, fuck it. That's what you want to do. You do it. So I, I went to every room, the living room, the kitchen with him. I showed him everything. I told him what I didn't want in the house, which is nothing. I don't want anything that my mother left behind. Not nothing. I don't want to see it. When I walked in that house, I wanted to be vacant looking. Empty. So we had an understanding. We put, we made a price. Then I gave him some extra money to get the materials he would need to make my vision happen. It just took a long time. Okay. Other shit was getting done. And it just made me feel like sometimes, you know, you want to help people and you want to help people but sometimes you just got to be like no you know because people may not take you seriously or people may not you know because you're their friend they may not think it's important i don't know y'all it just didn't go right and i would never hire that person a fucking again you know i love my best friend y'all know that but it, i can't I, I need things done and then you guys be quiet and I want it done in completion. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't want things left under the cabinet. If I'm paying you to move everything out, I suspect that I, I mean, I would like for everything to be moved out the fucking kitchen, out the bathroom. I don't want nothing left. And he kept forgetting like little things in different rooms. That's because he was room hopping. No, do one whole room, then do the next room and then do that. That's how I would have done it whatever it is what it is but you know don't get mad when i overlook your ass and i reach outside the house because i went inside the house i can't do that because it prolonged it, it prolonged a lot of shit because the maid was should have came yesterday instead she coming tomorrow now mind you my plan is to go be in that house and not live in hotels because number one it cost me a lot of money to live in hotels not only that it's very uncomfortable okay sometimes you know I, I can't get none for late 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 because you know something's going on they're booked or either they charging ridiculously high plus it's still corona the monkey shit i don't want to be out here no you know what i'm saying like who wants to do that especially with three kids that's a lot of work so i need to move in the house until you know things get situated you feel me then because it, it, you know the house has is the kitchen and all of that and i can cook i want to keep on you know buying food every day so it's holding me up as well you know so the time so the house is just over there empty Why? and i'm at the hotel mind you these hotels are like 200 something dollars a night i've been here almost what going on with two three weeks already can you, okay so count that shit up and then food and then gas and then all and then just period you know Whew. anyway so that's that so a lot been going on a lot a lot been going on a, a whole lot been going on y'all and oh and then y'all know i i thought my medicine was good 
and it wasn't. My mouth started hurting. I did order my medicine back again. I got, he gave me the lip cream, but they didn't send me the right liquid. They gave me the cream, so that's why you see my lips. Remember how my lips couldn't open and it was real fucked up where I ordered it. They, you know, it came to California. So now my lips, as you guys can see, they're getting better. Just that fast, they're getting better. Um, now I need the liquid and they sent me the wrong liquid. So tomorrow's Monday, I'll have them send me the right liquid and then we'll be back smoking. So anyway, that was it. Today was Sunday. You guys know I went to like the little car show. I didn't stay long. My stepson came with us and I spent some time with him and my husband and my children and you know, me and one of my friends hung out a little bit. She's a girl. We hung out a little bit, but she was getting on my goddamn nerves. That's what I was telling you guys about who wants to really get married. She really wants a husband. She gets on my nerves. Not because she really want a husband, but she fucked up. Like I told her, you know how sometimes you try to bite your tongue with your friends I don't do it often. Normally, I say what's on my mind, but I'm really raw. So, you know, I really be got it sometimes watching what the fuck I say because I'm real raw like that. But let me tell y'all something. I had to tell her a little something today because she was getting on my goddamn nerves. You know, she wants to be married really, really, really bad. Really bad. She's one of those that write quotes of marriage and shit on her Facebook. And mm -hmm. she wants to be married. I do not know why she want to be married so, you know, so much. I do not know, but she do. She think that it's going to solve all problems she's ever had in her life, okay? So, I asked her, are you ready? Are you ready for a mate? Because I don't think you're ready for a mate. You feel me? Like, why do you want to be fucked up going to somebody? You know? Like, that's kind of fucked up. Like, don't you kind of want to be at your best when, when you get a mate? You feel me? Like, you don't have nowhere to live. They're finna imp repound, impound your car, repo, repo your car. You don't have no income. Your son is on, almost on his way to jail. Like... You, and you and you suffer with alcoholism. You you're alcoholic a little bit. Like, don't you think you should mm. fix some shit up before you look for a mate? Or, like, why would you look for a mate in this in this way? Because you they say well, don't they say you attract what you are? So that means if you're looking for somebody, especially in the state you are in now, you may attract what you what you are currently. I don't know. I don't know. I've never ever tried to look for a man that bad in my whole entire ex existence and life. Never. I don't, you know, I, I ain't gonna say I'm the prettiest thing in the world. I'm just gonna tell you, you know, that just ain't never been my struggle, honey. Okay. That's not, um, God didn't set me up like that. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. but hey, I just said my two piece. You know, because I'm a mother of sons. And I don't want a bitch raggedy looking for my sons. Have your shit together. You feel me? Don't you want to have some equity in yourself? Don't you want to have something when you meet a man? Don't, don't you want to have something to talk about at the table other than your... Girl, I just don't understand, honey. I don't... And I don't know if it's because she lost her family um, and she wants to create a family. I don't really know. I try not to say too much because I am married. And I don't want to be like, well, I'm married. And, you know, you know, one of them bitches, you know, because you married. And you can, you, you know, you know I don't want to do that. But, girl, a blind man can see. You got to get yourself together, honey. Anyways, you guys, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Y'all have a beautiful Sunday. I'll try to get with y'all tomorrow. Bye.